Okay. So, we got another up music update collection video. This is part two. So yesterday we done the um the movie music DVD collection ish biopic things. Today we're going to uh, to do the cassettes, which will take a while, but I want to get them out the way first. So that's what we're gonna focus on. So first we got uh, Prince Emancipation three cassette set right there. So there's that. Followed up, we got uh, some that I have made in terms of being a mixtape artist and some I did for others. So here's one I've done for somebody right there. And we got uh, one that I've done years ago right there. So that's a copy of that, that right there. Then there's this one right there. You know, those ones, I can say about mine, done, done good. I say one of the most that really grabbed towards people the most was, uh, was the Stand By Me one. And then here's the uh, Straight Outta Columbia one. Which eventually, I probably will do more copies of that one day, but I only did very limited limited ones um these are just ones right here just messing around with so i'm not going to sh show those not really of an importance right now um either are these ones okay it's quite a collection when we get a little bit more down like you there's these ones that, well, I'll fill in the story once we get to them. I don't want to really rush right now. So, we got a 50 Cent, The Massacre on cassette. That's actually real, by the way. And we have uh, this one right here. It's a uh, pretty good. Um, I think it's it has a mixture. I know most of it was a... Uh, the old Destiny's Child and some other artists um had these songs up on the CD, but I don't know where it went to. We have a uh, E the Scorpion right here. Probably my second, maybe third cassette that I ever owned in terms of a uh, hip hop wise. Right there, we can skip. It's not important. Uh, Mary J. Blige's first album, Queen of Hip Hop. However, this is more like an R&B album than whatever. Uh, some stuff I did long, long, long time ago when I was experimenting around with the music back then upon cassette back in the. Uh, Late, late 90s at that. Uh, so I'm like, that one right there can be skipped. What's this one? Kid Rock Devil Tut Cause. My first uh, rock or hip hop rock ish album. Uh, we got Shaggy, Mr. Boom Bostic. Um, Yeah, he fell off. Uh, I know a lot of guys, uh, those from, you know, the 2000s kids may have heard of him and in terms of his career of what happened and how what he's been through I know a lot of you guys may think that oh well he was around this time well no he, he's been around and we have a masterpiece ice cream man love this album I really need to get this on audio CD I mean I have like choice I really need to get this on audio CD like I'm not a Master P fan by any means. In terms of his music, I think he's a really great business guy. However, his first album, I love this. This was recorded, this took several years for him to actually do. This came out, I think, what year did this come out? I forgot. I gotta look. So, 
Okay, I want to say this album took from 94 to 95, but it came out in 96 at the most. Like I said, it's just a really great album it is. We have a CCC Plus Factory. It's a really great pop, uh, funk-ish album. Yeah. A lot of these I had for quite some time since I was young. Uh, we got Run DMC's Crown Royal. Great album. This is like their last official one they ever done together with Atlantic back in before uh, Jam Master J died. So this was around actually 2003, I think about maybe let's see Jam Master J passed like what 03, right? This came out in 03 right before his passing. Like that, like it, I can't, I can't. Like, I can't get the specific timeline, just how close, uh, that was, but it was, like, really close. We got, a uh, Rock of the 80s. I'm not too familiar with this. Like I said, a lot of these I had at a young age, so I saved them. Kiss, Revenge, I'm not a Kiss fan, but I saved whatever little cassettes I could find that were still intact. Uh, Corona, Rhythm of the Night, Single. That was starting to fall. Sorry about that. We got a, which is my first, maybe second, no, this is my second hip hop cassette that I owned. Right there. Classic. Now, this is my first very hip hop cassette I ever owned as a baby. Tag team. Yo, this, this I still got love for this album. I don't know if I'll ever buy it on audio CD or vinyl, but yeah. Then we got the uh, we got the same one again, but it's the um, single version along with the instrumental version as well. So I never knew I owned that till I found. Like I said, I, I there was like a box of cassettes down downstairs I completely forgot about, and I saved what I could, you know. Uh, next, we got a TLC one, TLC tip cassette. Um, this was a hard to find. Got it for the price I did for like 40 bucks. I need to get the vinyl. The vinyl's gonna be difficult either to find, and if I find it, it's gonna be pricey as all hell. Hot Ladies of the 80s. Very, very great pop, pop cassette. Um, I wish they would have done that on a audio CD. I don't think they ever did though. Uh, this is another one I found that I saved. I'm, I'm, I try to listen to this. Not really my taste, but I like the cover. I like the cover, you know. Next, there are these cassettes, you know, back back, back in the day, even I remember, you would get a pamphlet in the mail, and you, you could order music to a pamphlet. You know, you mean you had a choice. Yeah, eBay. eBay was around there, along with the internet, you know, the 90s, of course, 2000s. But uh, you really didn't think about ordering stuff, you know, offline. Most of the time, you, you went to, uh, you know, Walmart, um, the record shop. But if you didn't... Then you, you would order music offline, which I remember doing, and mom used to order a lot of the uh, these different colored cassettes that mark specific times. So, there, there's a lot of these, um, you got uh, sounds of the 80s from 89, 88, 86, or 89, and the late 80s. That. Then you have a few more. Like I said, there were quite a few of these. Um, if it wasn't that, I mean, you could order more stuff than just music, uh, games, um, movies. Um, I actually had one of the pamphlets, still one of the magazine books, packed away, but it was like for computers. Then you have more right there. This one's from uh, 87, 86. 85 through 86, 84 through 85, 
and all these are in order, by the way. And the company that manufactures are ordering was the Lifetime Music Magazine. And you have more right there. 83. 82. 85. 83 through 84. Um... From what I know of, they never did any of the music for this in the 90s, from what I'm aware of. Because it was more CDs then. Now, granted, you know, audio CDs were actually experimented on and, you know, made in the 80s. But you, you, you a lot of people just didn't buy them because we're still doing cassettes and vinyl. And you had to be rich to afford a CD player. You know, it, it, it was like that. For such a long time, like, God, 80, 90s, until, like, the mid-2000s, you know. But, yeah, here, here's, like, a like, few of the last of them right here. You have, uh, 84, 83, 80 through 82, 80 through 81, and 80s. Right there, then you got like some of these, two more, which is like early 80s, one and two, so that's whatever. Um, you got a Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation from 89. Yeah, I ain't a Janet fan, but you know, I still save this. Here we got a Eltrum, the cars that go boom. Uh, this don't. This has other songs on it. Bro, <laughs> if I try to play it, so somebody recorded over that. You know. Um, here we got Tone Loke After Dark. This somewhat still works. Um, audio does wear out on these, just like audio CD, you know, those wear out, and especially, you know, digital music with MP3 has an extended time, even digital, because even digital sound can wear out, real talk, uh, easy, easy does it, uh, Roxanne Chante, Bad Sister, her first official album, from what I know of. A lot of those songs recorded when she was a teenager, as a kid, but didn't come out till it was like she was like an adult. I recommend people that have Netflix watch that movie, Roxanne, Roxanne. That's about her. I really highly recommend that movie. It was really dope. Um, you know, I like it. I wish I put it out on uh, DVD. I would like to enjoy that. It's a hard copy. Next, we got a uh, Heavy D and the Boys, Big Time, their second album. I still need to get this on vinyl and on audio CD. Uh, no, this other artist, like I said, I saved this cassette. Like I said, try, try to save what you can. I'm not a fan of the artist, but it's Bobby Brown's first album. Um, I think he's trash. Whatever. Can... Next we got new shoes. Um, only like like one song, which is I can't wait. Uh, Shaka Khan, first album, what I know of. I feel for you. Love this album. I have it on vinyl. I uh, can't get it on audio CD though. It's uh, sold out, really bad, unavailable. Whatever, whatever. Ooh, shit. Yeah, what was that? The f okay. Some of these don't have uh, backs anymore to them. So we got a CZ Top. We got a... This one don't work anymore, though. Motown's Greatest Hits, Jackson 5. This is early Jackson 5, though. Like, really early. Then you have a... Uh, you know, it's a little bit more of these ones that you could order, but... You know, uh, no. 61 and 
we're down to the last batch almost. You got a 64. I think 64 needs to go. Depending on how you look at it, so I'll put that right there. Okay. Then you got a Prince uh, Love Symbol album on cassette with the logo on it. That is uh, valuable, by the way. I would have loved to own a vinyl of that, but it just wasn't released in the U.S. So, Graffiti Bridge, love the album, love the movie. Um, I, ha I even have it on an audio CD. I don't have it on on vinyl. It's a uh, pretty pricey up on vinyl. I ain't gonna lie, pretty pricey. That's why I'm in no rush to get that one on vinyl because of the price. We have a uh, Prince's Batman soundtrack to the movie from the 1989's Michael Keaton. Without the cover though. Prince, Sign of the Times. Prince, Round the World in a Day, up on cassette. Prince, Purple Rain, on cassette. And we got a few of the last of them right here. So we got a Prince, Dirty Minds, and Controversy 2 album set on one cassette. I don't know if it's a bootleg or it's official, but I'm glad I got that. Now we're getting into Michael Jackson. We got a Blood on the Dance Floor set. We got Dangerous right here. We got Bad. And then we got my first two very cassettes that I ever owned as a, as a baby, which is Thriller and Off the Wall. Original prints, by the way. Yeah, they yeah they're starting to remake these, but they're not the original prints like these are. Love them. And that's about it for my uh, updated music collection part two cassettes. Um, tomorrow we will go on to the uh, vinyls at the most. And then sometime next week we'll go on to uh, the Michael Jackson CD collection. And I'm out. <laughs>